Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a case of nephroblastoma of the kidney. This is also known as Wilms tumor. It is a malignant tumor of the kidney that usually occurs in the pediatric age group, for example, three to four years old. The overall prognosis of this tumor is good. So before we look at the tumor, which occupies this bluish area, let's have a very quick recap of the normal kidney histology. So this pink area is composed of normal kidney and in this region we can see that this is the cortex because there are many glomeruli dotted throughout. On higher magnification we can see these rounded glomeruli here, another one here and another one here and in between them we have parts of the convoluted tubules. Moving to another region it's starting to look a little bit different here, and this is the medulla of the kidney, which does not contain glomeruli, but instead contains many tubules lined by very uniform cuboidal cells with some blood vessels in between. These will be the collecting ducts as well as parts of the loops of Henle. Moving back to low magnification, we can see that this tumour is actually relatively well demarcated from the rest of the non-neoplastic kidney. Nevertheless, it's a malignant tumour. And Wilms tumours or nephroblastomas, they arise from embryonal kidney tissue and hence they can have a variety of appearances. Usually, the tumours are triphasic, meaning that there are three components. Sometimes, less commonly, they can be mono or biphasic, with one or two components, respectively. This is a triphasic Wilms tumour, and it has the three components, first of all, of blastema, which is very undifferentiated embryonal-type tissue. Secondly, epithelial components, which tends to form tubules. And thirdly, the stromal component, which is composed of spindle cells. Let's look at them one by one. In this area, we can see a very blue appearance. And looking at higher magnification, we can see these sheets of relatively uniform cells with quite small nuclei. And there is hardly any cytoplasm. This is why the cells appear very blue at low magnification. Such areas are composed of the embryonal or undifferentiated type blastemal tissue or blastema. And this is the least differentiated component. Usually we will see many mitotic figures in such areas. These cells can form sheets or some nodular areas or they can also form serpentine elongated sheets. Next, we will look at the epithelial component, which is better seen in this area. And as we zoom in, we can see that there are some of these tubular structures. Some of them appear to almost be like a rosette, a very, very tight circular structure composed of nuclei. In other areas, we have better formed tubules, such as you see here as well as here. So the tubular areas form the epithelial component and sometimes we can see also glomerular like structures and occasionally even squamous epithelium or mucinous epithelium. Otherwise they are mostly in the form of these tubular structures. The third component is the stromal component and that is composed predominantly of spindle cells. And as I navigate around to look for the stromal component, we can see these very large nodular sheets of blastemal cells. The stromal component is seen nicely in this area and let me just zoom in. And we can see that this area is composed of spindle cells. The stromal component is usually composed of cells with oval or very elongated slender spindle nuclei like these, and it can vary from hypocellular to hypercellular. Sometimes we can also see heterologous stromal components such as adipose tissue or fatty tissue or cartilage. In some tumours, there is also a phenomenon known as anaplasia, and this is not seen in this current tumour. Anaplasia is when we can see extremely bizarre looking, very markedly enlarged nuclei 
which are hyperchromatic and also show abnormal mitotic figures. The presence of diffuse anaplasia is a poor prognostic feature. Let's have a very quick look at the gross appearance. Here is an example of a nephroblastoma. We can see this is the kidney. This is the tumor. It is predominantly solid, but with large areas of necrosis. And this area is extremely friable. If you look at it carefully, these pale areas all represent necrotic tissue. So usually this tumor is pinkish to tan or grayish. In color, it is relatively solid or it can be solid cystic. And it is generally quite well demarcated from the rest of the kidney. This is taken from our Virtual Pathology Museum in our online resource path web. If you scroll down on this page, you will be able to see other bits of interesting information and also some examples of gross pictures, some annotated microscopic pictures, as well as talking pots and slides. If you would like free access to this online resource, the link is in the video description. Hence, in summary, this is an example of a nephroblastoma of the kidney or a Wilms tumor, which is a pediatric tumor. This is malignant, but it has a good prognosis. And it is very often a triphasic tumor, which is composed of undifferentiated blastemal tissue, which looks like small round blue cells with lots of mitotic figures, epithelial tissue, which forms tubules, and the last component being stromal tissue, which is composed of spindle cells. Thank you.